animals were all set to depart. The crews prepared nets for the journey. One last kiss from sweethearts and wives who were left standing there by the sea. One young wife with tears in her eyes who had only a short time been wed. Would the fathers be waiting return? Of her husband, the fisherman man. She watched the small boat with its sail, just a speck on the distant horizon. Then she turned the weary foot home, for she knew that the night would soon come. How empty the village would be! How lonely the fisherman's life! For this was Ned's first trip to sea. Since she moved to the village, his wife. Long days have now passed since they've gone. Was time for return to the harbor? But when the men children were there, with laughter and hearts all aglow, and soon there were cries of delight from the lips. Of the ones that had gathered, small pointed white sails had been seen. They were welcomed and hailed as they neared. But then came a cry of despair from the sight of the boats they had yearned. They all knew that fifteen had left. But only fourteen had returned. Poor Grace, so torn, could not speak. Was Ned's boat could not be found. The others dread sad to their homes, while Grace knelt there on the ground. Was told of the winds in the storm. How the one boat was swayed. How the men were all lost in the night. Then the whole village silently wept. The village still tells how for years the young. Her woman did cry and watch for a boat to come in. 